Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to be going over our 2019 Tiffin Wayfair FW. So let's get into it. We'll start over here with the wheels. We do have the aluminum interior there to help for the protection with your tires. Up above these mirrors right here you also do have that blinker so you turn it on you can see your blind spot it is also heated which is great for colorado and it gets really cold here like today so you have that defrost mechanism in there so you can always see while you're on the go sliding over nice little grab bar on the door to kind of help you get in inside with a little bit of assist assistance and above that we do have that 14 foot carefree awning i'll go ahead and open this we have the LG TV and surround sound. So you kind of have some outside entertainment for this coach at perfect height, I would think too, right when you're sitting in your chair, enjoying a football game, Super Bowl's coming up. And this is gonna be our first bay. And we do have two sockets in there for charging. Slide on over, we do have our uh, Gerard instant hot water heater. So this is very easy to use. And also uh, it just gives you that endless hot water and it's very quiet and it's gonna be fueled by propane. So it's not electric. So this, this coach has a 20 gallon propane tank, which gives you that durability to kind of use your batteries as you go kind of, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, it just gives you that comfort if you're boondocking that you can kind of Oh, I want to use my propane instead of the electric because my uh, house batteries are getting low. Just gives you that flexibility while you're on the road. All right, kind of noisy because we have that generator running. It's the Cummins Onon 3.2. Pretty hefty generator there. And our last bay door. Just a few more storage components there. have the propane connector as well. Whoops. All right, going back to the rear. You do have that lovely uh, backup camera and I'll show you when we get inside, but you actually have those lines too that kind of guide you for where you're backing up. So I personally like that because it just makes me feel more comfortable backing a unit up. And then we have a lovely uh, window in the back too. It just gives brings in a lot more light when you're inside the coach So you don't have to use as many lights inside which will also help when you're boondocking You don't have to use those lights. You can just use all the natural light inside. So that's awesome Right here we have that water fill and this is where our generator exhaust is coming out right here Here's our 30 amp shore power cord right here and a beautiful surge guard protector. This is where our full wall uh, slide is gonna start. So once we get inside, you can see you have a lot big open space there. And this is the only slide on this coach. <clears throat> right here we have our outside shower, hot and cold. And then you have your Sani flush right here. Oops, just trying to put that back on. And then here's your tank dump, which you can connect the hose down here. So you can keep everything inside clean for you. You don't have to dump it over here. And then you have your filter. This coach is winterized right now. So we got a little bit of winterized solution in there. And then a clean filter for when we're ready to dewinterize. Got another storage compartment right here. It's a little deeper than the rest. This is probably the biggest one of them all. And then here is that propane tank. All right, we'll go ahead and open the door right here is our diesel fuel so it's going to be 26 gallons just over 26 gallons but i love this little cover it's nice and blended but it keeps everything locked so you don't have any funny business going on there now we'll go ahead and pop the hood 
Alrighty. It's already popped, perfect. So before we get right into it with all the chassis stuff, this also does have the upgraded sumo springs. Whoops, where's the little latch? There we go. And sumo springs are really great just because it is like a really good protectant for your overall coach. Helps with that vibration, a better ride, and just durability. And the sumo springs, they don't leak. And um, <clears throat> you, since they don't leak, it's a lot... Sorry, I'm losing my words here. Um, but it's kind of service-free. You don't really have to service them as quite often as the other ones do that are leak-proof. Um, but now that we're getting into the chassis here, we have our... Nice and clean, super accessible. You have the washer fluid, the windshield wiper washer fluid right here. Your death fill right here, super easy. And then your coolant. But super open. And then you have, it's a 3.06 cylinder turbo diesel with a five speed automatic. And it has the tip front transmission. So it's, this is gonna give you 188 horsepower and 325 pounds of torque. Whoops. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look on inside. All righty. So right before we go in, we have our fire extinguisher. Nice little safety protocols. And as I showed you before, the first latch to get in right here, a little handle assist. You also have one directly on the right side to you as well. So no matter what, you have that stability walking into your coach. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like with that slide in. You can still walk easily all the way back to your fridge. It's gonna be right here and then also to the bathroom. But I'll go ahead and open that up for you guys so you can get a good glance. All right. Perfect, we're all good, but it definitely gives you a big wide open space back here. So you can kind of use it as a little playroom if you want, or if you just want to sit down and play cards, it has this little extra bench area and you just put the leg in right there and it'll even it out for you. So perfect place if you're seating more than four people over here and you need some more seating area and it's kind of cold outside, you have that option right here. probably take my gloves off now that I'm not outside get all uncold here all right while we're talking about here this is the Murphy bed so I kind of wanted to show you this area down below is just a little few storage components that you have this is kind of like a you could put it in a station not a not a stationary uh, table but I'll show you where the table bench is here and then the pole but you can kind of put it anywhere in the coach so I love the flexibility of not only can you put your table here and then over where those captain chairs are, but you have the flexibility to put it anywhere you'd like. And then underneath here, you just have all your vacuum components and then some more uh, legs for those tables. All right, now let's pop open the bed. You have a little uh, lever up here. You just push it in. It'll kind of gracefully fall down, but before you let it fall completely down, you want to make sure you're grabbing these legs. I love how they're completely hit away, so you're not just awkwardly staring at a leg when you do have it up. So it's nice and hidden. You can barely even tell that a bed is behind there. And then it turns into your, your bedroom. Very soft sofa. It's like a memory foam um, bed. And then you have two charging outlets as, as well as the two USBs. And then another beautiful window right there that you can open up to get some fresh air in. In addition to the one that we were kind of talking about outside as well. So this is an, that same window and you can also open it up to get really good circulation in here. And I'll just go ahead and put it back up. It's not too heavy. 
you just latch it back in place and then these are this is what i was talking about the legs just kind of standing out awkwardly placed and you push them in and you can't even tell it's there This isn't anything too fancy besides just a little bench kind of area to set water bottles or anything that you want on top of it. It doesn't open. Uh, and then this is kind of just like that barn door. So when it's closed, you kind of have the tendency to pull on it. So you just want to make sure you're careful it does slide. You don't pull it open like a regular door. And then now that we're going into the bathroom, you do have that ceiling light up here. And then the aluminum actual shower head itself. You take off easy to just pop in and wash your feet off if you'd like and then you have the plastic magnetic door here well, open it back I was gonna open it back up whoops well, my hands are freezing there we go okay perfect and then now you have the little toilet right here So it's not too crowded. It's a nice shower, toilet, and then sink. Nice little sink area with your toilet paper dispenser, and then you have two little outlets right there. Beautiful mirror, but one of the biggest plus sides to this bathroom is just the storage. So you have two big cubbies here, and then you also have a little hanging rack as well. So this is just the first hanging rack, so you can do like a his and her, or you can kind of split the hanging racks up, and then also it's deep down under there too so you can store shoes or anything over there and then this is just a little access panel to all the electronic stuff and fuses down here so you can't use that for storage but and then up above this is where our generator start and stop is so I do have that running right now and then you do have your um, battery charge right here which will show you we have a healthy charge of 14.2 volts and then this is for that water heater. You can turn it on and off here and then uh, select the temperature by going up or down. Super simple. Set that temperature and then you'll get a consistent um, water temperature throughout the whole time you're taking a shower, which is really nice. Talk a little bit more about control panel. So you also do have one right here in that um, dining area or bedroom area, whichever you'd prefer. So all of our tanks are drained, are fresh, uh, gray and black. We have 59% of that LPG. You could turn your water pump on as, from here as well, and then also that tank heat, which is great during the winter. And then the master light, just one push of a button, it turns all your lights off. So I definitely love that. Instead of having to scrounge around, finding all the buttons, to turn the lights off and on. Right here is going to be your heat and AC. So right now we have it set, but it's super standard. Just click it, you can go down, to turn it down or up and vice versa. This is the little slide outlet that we have. So we only have that one full wall slide in and out. You wanna make sure that that brake is ignited and that you have a healthy charge of your battery so you can make sure you slide that um, slide out properly. <clears throat> Pretty big storage compartment right here above the fridge. And then down below we have a decent sized fridge. It's also, it's, you can change it from electric or propane, so that's awesome. Again, for boondocking, you kind of flexibly use your power for your own needs. I'm gonna slide over here so I can hold it open. And then you have the freezer. Pretty decent size. And then, Below the sink, we have two more big storage compartments down here. The sink has a beautiful cover over it, but it is a circular sink. And then you do have that nozzle that pulls out, so you can go ahead and make sure you're cleaning that sink bowl out after you're done with the dishes, which is a must for me. All right. I thought this was awesome when I pulled this out the first time. <laughs> so I just love how this is separated. It can be as a spice rack or also just your canned goods. It's not really sliding around and then you don't have this big old cabinet and it just opens like a regular one and there's a bunch of wasted space in there. So I loved how they made that a little mini pantry. 
These are super awesome too. Not only does it lock it in place better, but it definitely helps when you're driving down the road to help with that shaking, that noise that drives you crazy, you know, when you're going down the road. Um, so again, two big boxes for some storage there. Unlock it and open. And then you just have the Tiffin motorhome, so it gives you all the panels, all the you know books and stuff about Tiffin to help you out. If you want to troubleshoot anything that you have going down the road, or they're always a call away too. Here is the two burner propane, so not electric, which is nice because a lot of people haven't really worked with electric, so super simple. It's been around a long time. And this is, oh, I almost forgot. This is like a little chute, and I would probably make it a little trash chute because down below, you have the little cabinet where you can put your trash can in, but it's totally hidden away and right next to the door. So it's super simple to just go ahead and take it out. And then as we're down there, we do have our equalizer system for our leveling jacks. So just one push of a button and your coach is gonna automatically level itself out. And then you have all your awnings and some more lights. And this is where your battery um, on and off button will be. And then you have the step cover too. So if you don't want it to every time you open the door for the steps to come out, you can just set it where they'll automatically stay out. Here is the main TV here, LG. And it does move, it's on a beautiful arm there. So you can kind of adjust it. If you're sitting down at the table, you can watch TV. Or if you're kind of just cooking and you want to watch TV, you can set it directly there. Or also, if your guests would like to just watch some TV while they're up here, that's an option as well. Where the TV is plugged in, you also do have one more little outlet right here to charge your phone. So if we're ever sleeping up here, you could do that. And then right above, we have um, an electric, oops, let me go ahead and put it down, shade cover. So it makes it nice and blacked out for when you're ready to go to bed and you don't have to worry about the sun waking you up at 6 a.m. when you're on vacation because nobody wants that. And then that ladder, which I can't get right now, but we get the gist, and then it covers it up right here so you can locks it in, I should say, so you don't have to worry about your kids kind of climbing up there and the ladder falling off. You have that nice little latch. And then this is that handy dandy table I was talking about earlier. So you can put it right here. So when you have these chairs swiveled with little boosters, kind of make it a little, level you out a little bit better. And you want to just sit and have some coffee, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can also put it in that um, bedroom area. And it comes with three of the um, legs for the table. All right, now we do have two more charging areas right here along with the USB. So right next to the dining area, if you wanted to charge that. And then this is our little four seater dining area that does turn into a bed. So you can technically sleep up to six in this Tiffin, um, but of course this is a little bit shorter, not as long. So you're gonna want kids to be sleeping here. So four adults and two kids. There's a little latch under here. You just unlatch it. Very simple and easy, and then you go push it up. Whoops, push down, there we go. Help the arm a little bit. But of course, before you put it all the way down and set it up for a bed, you wanna take all the cushions off and then you level them all out, put your sheets and the pillows, and then you're pretty much ready to go. But it's super easy, not too hard to do. Whoops, there we go. All right, and this is the, oh, I forgot, sorry. These ones up above. Getting, my, getting ahead of myself here. So you have three more storage compartments right above your dining area. And then over above here, this is that second hanging rack I was telling you about. So not only is this a pretty big hanging rack and you can also put shoes on the bottom, you have a huge cubby hole back here that's completely secluded. The only way you can get into it is down here. So that's a perfect spot for any of those, you know, expensive items or things that you don't really want to get stolen. No one's really going to think about that. Um, especially if it's covered, you got shoes above it. I mean, I would definitely hide all my secret things in there that I didn't want to be stolen. And down below, we have two additional chairs right here. And then just kind of two little cubby holes here for a little bit more storage. So they definitely went above and beyond trying to find every crevice in here to kind of 
put storage in for you guys. And then below the kitchen, we have that convectional microwave. Two more drawers. Oops. There we go. And that wraps up all of our storage area and kitchen area. And then we can go ahead and get right into it in the cockpit here. This is beautiful because it's on a little hydraulics, so it's super easy to just push up and then you can gracefully walk in. And then I got hooked. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So on the front here, super basic, nothing too crazy. You can answer calls, turn up your volume, change the channels and whatnot. Um, but up front we have 3,000, oops, sorry. We have 23,834 miles on here. So barely broken in for a 2019. And I definitely wanted to show you guys these little blackout screens that are just built in. Makes it super nice because you don't have to like button anything. And then you also have one right here and then up in front as well. So when you're first pulling it out, it looks kind of awkward because this little thing, but it just because it doesn't want to get in the way of this. But then you grab the other side and then they magnetic together. So it completely gives you that privacy um, without having to go and kind of figure out where you put it. <laughs> I'm always doing that or you find a new spot where you're like, oh, I'm going to store it here because it makes so much more sense. And then you go to find it and you're in the old spot and then you forget where you put it. So it's already built in here. I absolutely love that. <clears throat> so it makes it nice and easy. And it latches in too, so you don't have to worry about it opening while you're driving down the road. I'll go ahead and turn this on so you can kind of see that backup camera we were talking about earlier. I'll just let her start up here and let all the beeps go away. I was messing with it earlier, so perfect. But here are the lines I was kind of talking to you about. You have the green, which is definitely clear. Orange, you're getting kind of close. And red, you're definitely going to do some damage. So I totally love that, just having kind of a surrounding base and foundation of where you can actually go. <clears throat> Perfect. And then you just have the basic radio system here. Um, nothing too crazy. You can go through your FM radios, go to the menu add in your phone, do the navigation, screen adjustments, and then you can also play with your cameras as well. And then down below is just the heating and the AC, high and low for your fan, AC, circulation, your hazard lights, and all that good stuff. Nice little foam cubby right here. And then over below, you just have a little tiny glove box for your passenger but you do have some more storage up top here. So if you wanna throw some snacks up there on the go and a nice soda, then you'll get ready to go. But that is all we have for our 2019 Tiffin Wayfair. Again, my name's Taylor. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at 970-388-7937. I'd be happy, help, happy to help. <laughs> have a good day.